After a challenging year, it may be difficult to keep a positive attitude. If you're looking for some inspiration, though, there's a new book by Brittany Ruby Miller that will make you smile. She joins us now with more. Hi there. Hi. Thank you for having me. We're happy to have you here. So you have a day job as the CEO of a restaurant group, but why did you decide to write this book in particular? Yeah, I, um, I'm the CEO of a family-owned business. 40 years we've been in business, high-end steakhouses. We strive for five stars in our restaurants. And um, here to tell you I have not had a perfect life. Uh, I've been through a lot of really crazy situations in my life and had a lot of healing after a lot of therapy and a lot of faith. And I chose to write a book because, uh, for many reasons, I wouldn't be where I am today without people sharing authentic, real-life testimonies about healing, whether it's in their marriage. I, I, we dealt with infertility for a very, very long time. Uh, my father was in a coma for a month when I was five years old with a 5% chance of living without being brain dead. He miraculously pulled through lots of crazy situations. And I chose to write a book because, uh, especially at a time like this, uh, I think that we all need a little bit of hope, and I think that we all should should believe, and I hope through my book um, uh, people recognize and the reader recognizes that everybody, God has destined us all for a five-star life. And tell us why personal faith and forgiveness are so important to your story. I wouldn't be where I am today without my faith. There's just... Um, I, I wouldn't, you know, be able to, to do this life without God beside me and knowing that my Father in Heaven loves me and He's pulling for me and He wants the best for my marriage, He wants the best for my life. Um, and, and I wouldn't be able to, to get where I am without forgiveness. And, and that's in many different realms of forgiveness. I walk it out every single day, but, you know, I, I also had a lot of forgiveness and healing that needed to take place uh, from my childhood into adolescence and into the marriage. And, and so um, I, I'm thankful that I have a platform to be able to come on shows like yours and, 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 and put out a book that really the, the only motivation for this book was to put my story out there to hopefully help others. And can you please share some of the lessons that you hope people will take away from this book? I think surrendering, knowing that it's okay to have a messy life. And people would look at me and think that I've got a perfect life and, and my life was handed to me on a silver platter and really uh, my life was crumbling right before my eyes and, and my husband's as well and, and my family. And so I think, you know, I think when people see other people going through trauma, especially those who might uh, appear to have uh, a perfect life, um, it brings hope. And so after recognizing that it's okay to have a messy life and, and surrendering to that, I hope that people can read my book and, and believe that God has a five-star life for you. And even in the middle of chaos uh, in this world, you can be positive and you can have joy. And what are some of the things that people can do to start them on the path towards their own five-star life? I think the first thing is believing that you deserve it. And I think there's a lot of people who don't believe that they deserve the best life has to offer. And I think there's a lot of people who have been wronged by people. And so learning about forgiveness and how it sets us free. I put all these tools in the book. Um, I have had countless even inpatient therapy, uh, psychiatric therapy, lots of therapy that I share a lot of those tips in the books uh, to hopefully give people tangible tools, uh, life skills that they can learn through our experience. All right, and where can we get our hands on this book? The book's available on Amazon, amazon.com. It can get overnighted, and it will be, it's on Kindle as well, uh, Audible here soon. Brittany, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.